The long and winding road of an 82-game NBA season ends on a Sunday matinee at Shea Center as the Warriors take on the Utah Jazz. Hendricks on the step through. Chris knocked it away. Yurtsevin's got really good skill inside. And good to see J.K. healthy enough to play, to not play against the Pelicans. And Andrew Wiggins, man, since the calendar turned to 2024, he's been spectacular. Dante George, he has really played well the last month and a half. What a block by Kaminga. Yurtsevin stayed with it, flipped it in, and drew the foul. Will Hardy at 36 years of age, but he is one of the bright young coaches in the NBA. There's one of the bright young players in the NBA, Trace Jackson Davis. Steph said that that rolled right ankle, he'll deal with it, but the today, a couple extra days just to make it better for the play-in, which would be Tuesday as Chris Paul hits. Ooh, Hendricks is out on Chris Paul, so he's looking for the skip pass. Left wing three. You think Wiggins is going to hit that? That's his favorite spot. Keep breaking the paint and kicking out and finding Clay for three. Nice little play by Kaminga right That's there. That's what I'm saying. See Trace playing the initial D, but Taylor Hendricks able to put in the Juzang miss. The pass was behind Kaminga. He'd well saved the turnover. Pajemski bottoms a three. His three-point shot the last week or so has been very good. You asked what the mentality is the last game of the season. I remember one year, Steven Jackson, he needed like seven points to average 20 points a game or something like that. So he was just thinking about that, rounding out his stats like he wanted them to. 99% of life is showing up. Mm. And Taylor Hendricks scoring there. Dante George from deep. Okay. That's the one area. He only shoots it at 32% as of late. He's been up and down there. Really consistent, but as Chris Paul knocks down his patented mid-range, Jemski will hide behind Looney. Return the favor. Come on, putting it up and in. Milwaukee to Milwaukee on that connection. Looney finding Guy Santos. How pretty was that? Sets the ball, sizing up Santos. Fade away. So we, we like Bryce Sensabaugh. He is an interesting player. The one year at Ohio State, the ball is moving around nicely. Clay said that booty. You want to bury that. When Clay passes up a three and trusts you, ring the register. Clay on Lofton. Driving by him in the lane to lay it up and in. Uh, he's not settling. He's got the quickest advantage there. He knows it. Dario Sharge first playing time. And he goes on Shabanich and says, hey, let me score on you. Yeah, where is it Michael going? Michael Potter could not stop him. Sends the ball down the lane and finish. Good defense by Baisley. Clay Thompson goes around him to TKD to hammer it down. He's got some hang time in there to where he can switch hands, make adjustments. Solid sense about drive, and then you see him score on the three. He's a good player. Yeah. Clay, that's a warm up rhythm dribble three. You know how often he misses those? He doesn't. Not very often. Play. Rails at three, and Utah take time. The Warriors are enjoying themselves right now, getting another steal. Jemski with a good steal. And Clay, right now, he scored 16 of the last Warrior 23 points. Man, we're slow enough as it is, and Clay keeps scoring quickly as Potter hits the three. It's a great find by Moody. Dario rocks into the three. That's pretty. How did Moses even see him? Oh, oh that pass. Hendricks waiting on it. Wow. Out. Points off turnovers. Sensabaugh going to shoot. Yes, he is. Shot clock at 11. The Kevin Scott presentation was still great, though. Very good. Taking from the foul. I think Kevin Scott in the offseason, you know, he could tell you your kid just failed math and has to go to summer school. In April, they're the best three point shooting team in the NBA. Uh -oh. That's an excuse me foul by Chris Paul, fouling a three point shooter. and. That is going to be unfun. Ah! Ooh, Hertzman just guided that home. Utah now playing the dubs in this closing stretch. Wow. Deontay George, that's just a glimpse of what he's been doing the last couple months. Wiggins ends that. Jemski, the most charges drawn, and Grace Jackson Davis. He draws the fouls. He flipped that in. It was Wiggins on the delivery. Wiggins got it back. It's a four-point trip. Backdoor cut, Wiggins knocked it away. He's got time to work with three. Push ahead, Pajemski to lay it up and in. That's the way to finish the half. Clay Thompson, reload three. Perfect beginning to the second half. Clay's got 22. This is Keontae George. I'll tell you, his three-point shot's not broken, by the way. Clay Thompson. <laughs> it's fun to watch him shoot. 
Keontae George picked up the dribble. Shot clock at seven. He'll launch again and hit a three. See, see he's hot right now. Play to Trace. He calls him Baby Trace because of his brother Trace. But they have a great connection. Keontae George again. Okay. Keontae George on the kick out. Juzang. They're five of six on threes. Clay's got 25, Wiggins has 16, but you need the third score. Or you need Wiggins just to keep scoring. He's got 19 hitting that three. Zang back to Shamanich to lay it up and in. He just lost sight of him for a split second if you're Chris Paul. Chris Paul mid-range. Yeah. Santos thought about that sidestep three. Same thing with Moody. Make an easier shot. Good decision there. Back out to Jusang. He's not going to keep missing that. Moody hit for the baseline. Right now, you got the Lakers up over 30, and Sacramento had a 30 point lead as well. Moody with a jumper. See, they've made all that hard work pay off. It's available. <laughs> it's available. <laughs> Kyra Lewis ties the game. Moody from the elbow. He Santos, look what I found. All right. The, the work never stops with Santos. As Quinones hits the three. Just on that ESPN radio broadcast for the play-in, working 30% off. He <laughs> <laughs> Santos hitting a three. Just for no reason. Just like, for like, me. It's wait. a shout-out to me. You're just like, why did you say that? Kaminga with a steal. Running with Sharic. Dario dropped it off, but he Santos will finish it off. No matter what the scenario is, you're playing an NBA game. I used to say every NBA game is oh, a great game. Oh, sets the ball, kind of fell asleep. They're going to wait for the cutting Kyra Lewis. That's a nice play. Laid it in and drew the foul. This guy to see man and ball. Now Spencer, what a pass. Beautifully done to Quinones. Often Jr. has that distance. Dropping in a three. Yoda's corner three. Lester. He was good on that Eastern road trip, too. Lofton, that's nifty. See, that's what I'm talking about, how nimble he is. Oh, nice, Kaminga. There you go. That's the growth of J.K. with the cutting shards to lay it in. His career goes along as he gains more experience, as he continues to work on the handle, get more comfortable there. He's going to be more lethal. Lofton continued to score. I think the other thing for Kaminga is rebounding. Taylor Hendricks dropping in the three. They don't, they, they don't find a body very often. Not as much. That, that's why the smallest team in the league, and Dario Scharf puts it up and in, can be one of the best rebounding teams. The Warriors are the smallest team in the NBA, and yet they're elite in rebounding the ball. So we're not trying to hurt anybody. We're just trying to go at people's heads. <laughs> Micah Potter hitting the three. Likely to play Sacramento on Tuesday in the 9-10 game. And Sensabaugh ties it up, but you'd like to win this and have a winning record at home. Shot clock at seven, Warrior lead at two. Shamanich puts it up and in and draws the foul. As Quinones gets inside. Cycle it to Robinson. Jerome to the rim. Okay, who wants it more now? Aaron Lewis flipping it up and in. Usman Garuba played very well for the Santa Cruz Warriors in the playoffs. Sensabaugh shot clock at one. Got it back and got it off late. So the Warriors forced the 24-second violation. And a lot of the Santa Cruz Warriors trying to get the Golden State Warriors a win here. Jerome Robinson, the finish and the foul. Five-point lead in the ball. Usman, the left hand, and Pat Spencer. He did his Pajemski and puts it up and in. Let Pat Spencer get some of this action. Every Warrior that has played has scored. Get on the board. Ira Lewis rimming that out. Roots him in with the rebound. Usman says no. And Tuesday night, they're heading to the state's capital for meeting number five against Sacramento. What a season it's been. Chase Center showing their appreciation. 123-116. Clay had 25 points in 20 minutes. The Warriors, they finished 27 and 12 in their last 39 games. 